And still on the same, in a bid to boost security and order during the beatification ceremony, taxi owners who will be operating in the town during the three days have to acquire a special pass. KTN Central uh, Kenya reporter Carol Derry also explains to us why the British Army have a special place in the beatification ceremony. Taxis that will be ferrying pilgrims during the three-day beatification ceremony will be expected to have special stickers for identification. Those operators who will not have complied with the directive will not be allowed to access some of the designated areas. For that special pass, each taxi operator will have to part with 3,000 shillings. 300 vehicles have so far registered for the car sticker. We have taken the particulars of the driver, the owner of the vehicle, and uh, we have captured all the data of the vehicle. The other vehicles which have got uh, no other details and they are not registered, we are not going to allow them at least to go beyond a certain extent because out of all these, they are public and uh, we, we want, we'd like at least to know the safety of all these people. The beatification event will commence on Friday with a night vigil at Gekondi area of Mokorene where Sister Irene lived for 15 years. The main event will be held at the Dede and Kimath University of Technology on Saturday and on the third and last day there will be a procession from Mathari Central Chapel where her remains are presently stored under lock and key. British Army soldiers from Nanyuki British Army Training Unit's camp will be involved in removing the casket containing the relics. Warrant Officer 1, Regimental Sergeant Major John Curran, who is in charge of the group, said the involvement of the British Army is because Sister Stefani treated injured soldiers during the First World War. Myself and some of my colleagues are rehearsing for Sister Irene's on Sunday. The box containing the holy remains will be placed there. This is what we shall give thanks with and this is what will be transported with still with the military honor to cathedral. Sister Stefani was between 1913 to 1915 involved in treating of fighters in Tanzania during the war. She was later appointed a head cook for European and local personnel. The British Red Cross also awarded her a medal for her work. The British soldiers will on Sunday march from Mathari to St. Mary's Boys Secondary School in Nyeri Town, a distance of about seven kilometers for the Thanksgiving ceremony. Most hotels and lodges have increased their rates in anticipation of cashing in on the global event. Many have doubled up or even tripled their usual rates. Final preparations to spruce up the town are in top gear. And it is for these reasons that her virtues have been exalted with the church leaders calling on Kenyans to try be anyada in the best way they can. Carol Derry, KTN, Nyeri County.